Hey everybody, Nick here, and today I got a little bit of disassembly and maintenance for you of this guy right here. This is the Monterey Bay Knives Sprocket. Um, uh, is this free spinning, or am I just crazy? This is a non-tooled free spinning pivot. Okay, that's not a great start. Um, but anyways, uh, go ahead and put that down there. Looking at T6 there, I bet. Maybe T7? No, T6. One thing to highlight, by the way, is that this gap was there when I started. Not astounding. All right, whoa there. And then the screws are going directly into the tie on the other side. That's weird. All right. But when I do this, the whole knife will fall apart. So that's something. Oh, that's a carbon fiber spacer. I couldn't actually tell. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this apart. Um, I'm seeing already that this is very gross in here. There's a fair amount of, you know, just... Oh, okay, here we've got a... It looks like carbon fiber dust sort of throughout the process. So hopefully, um, by doing this disassembly, we will actually get this guy into a um, sort of a better configuration, so to speak. All righty. I'm going to go ahead and use some rubbing alcohol here to clean things out. By the way, if you're ever curious about any of the tools I'm using for my disassemblies, uh, go ahead and check out nickshabazz.com slash tools, and that'll get you a video with a full list of everything I've been using. Um, and uh, there you go. Let's see here. Pop that loose. Loose. Popping gunk loose. See, kind of an interesting machining right there. It's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and clean out these bearings, which I suspect are going to have a fair amount of gunk up in them, just because eh, it's not so bad, but still. Um, th there's just a lot of dust in here. You can tell that this was, well, they were doing a lot of carbon fiber work around this guy. And so I'm hoping very much that when I take this guy back, or when I put this guy back together, that is, that I'm going to be in a um, much nicer territory in terms of the... Um, the action and whatnot. I am a little disappointed in the uh, non-tooled free spinning pivot sort of approach. Um, there were it, it's something that's always a little bit frustrating. There were approaches that you can use to uh, remove them. Um, then the most notable of which is to sort of imagine that there was a blade on this guy to press the blade down against the table laterally. Um, that can kind of uh, trap the pivot a little bit and help you unscrew things. But it's just never something I enjoy seeing particularly. I'd, I'd always like to see makers do that differently. Um, using a Q-tip here just to get up inside this area, as well as to clean out the inside of the... Again, um, my goal here is just to remove some of this dust and gunk and whatnot. So there you go. And, um, but yeah, that's that's a little disappointing. And then I'll clean off the rest of this. Is that blasted? Yeah, I guess it is. Huh. All righty. Um, let's go ahead and put this guy back into place here. Okay. There we go. All right. So um, let's go ahead and start the reassembly process. If nothing else, it's a relatively simple knife. And by the way, there is also a full tie version of this knife, um, which, well, looks exactly like this. Um, but I'm not going to bother doing the disassembly there because it doesn't make sense to do that twice, right? Um, might as well keep one of them virgin for him to, uh, you know, resell afterwards, so to speak. Uh, so anyways, there's that. Go ahead and put a little bit of 10 weight nano oil on this guy, just because that tends to work a little bit better with bearing based actions. But go ahead and put a drop of lubrication into your detent ball hole there, which will just help to lubricate the detent ball track overall. Can't argue with that. Then what we'll do is we'll put a little bit of lubrish. Lubrish. Wow, that ain't even a thing. Well, lubrish substance, I suppose. Ah, it's not lubrication, but it is lubrish. Um, all right, and then I'm going to make sure and I'm going to replace this washer such that the side that's got the wear from the bearings is facing up rather than, you know, the other way around. All righty, so we should be able to put that there. Now, do we have anything else that needs done here? No, I mean, I'm going to need to put this backspacer back in properly, but I can just spear that. All right, so um, uh, let's go ahead and put in this uh, stop pin here. I'm going to use some thread locker here. I'm using the blue stuff always, not the red stuff. The red stuff with a free-spinning non-tooled pivot could very easily be the very last time you take the knife apart. So always be careful with that. But okay, just sort of putting that in lightly. 
for the moment. Um, the reason I'm only doing that lightly is because I want to, uh, I need a little bit of play in the system still for installing these screws for the backspacer. So I'm going to try and spear the um, backspacer here onto one of these screws and then sort of lightly twist it in. Okay, good. So I got one half of it there. That's a start. On the bright side, this is looking like a very easy, God, that's dirty. Oof. Okay. It's looking like a relatively easy disassembly here. So, okay. Now I just got to get the other side, the other screw that is, spear it in through, and tighten, and tighten. Now let's see where we're at. Right now, this is way too loose. So what I need to do is tighten up the pivot. There we go. That tightened up nicely. Centering-wise, we're on point now. That's better. That's definitely an improvement to the action. No blade play. Okay. Yeah, we're good to go. Um, that, that, that's that's it. Six minutes, five seconds. You know what? Can't argue with that. Always a joy. Anyways, I hope this has been interesting to you, and have yourselves just an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. Bye now.